Hi, everybody. How are you? We are back. Yes, we're back. That makes me so happy because I tried to do skin schools before. My team was like, no, nobody's coming online anymore. Here you are. Um, so I'm very, very happy we are back and um, we're doing this again. We have so much to talk about. And just to give you an idea of what we're doing today, I give you a little bit of a background of my career and how I came to um, create skincare products. Then I will talk a little bit about the 101 on skin and what we should um, pay attention to. My background is I'm a medical doctor. I started um, in the orthopedics and the anti-inflammatory orthopedics. And I helped pioneering a treatment where you take the blood from a patient, process it in a certain way and create anti-inflammatory proteins re-inject those into the joints to take down inflammation, slowing down the aging process. So inflammation and aging goes very, very close together. I was also very interested in aesthetics. So I learned how to inject fillers and Botox. And because there was no science in the aesthetics, I created the vampire facial by translating the knowledge from the orthopedics into the skin. So the vampire facial, or you know it as PRP or blood facial, that I created in 2002. And around the same time, when I was a young doctor, I had um, problematic skin. My skin was always dry. I had um, blackheads. I had to go and see a facialist every three weeks to get cleaned out. And I was so frustrated because Every time I came from my facialist, I had like a big box with products with me and I bought everything to try and nothing would help my skin. And, and then I thought, you know what, I'm already like, you know, I did this blood thing. So why don't I create my own cream? So my first cream was actually made um, with a pharmacist um, after the recipe of my grandmother, who was a pharmacist. And she helped me um, putting the best ingredients together to create the best hydrator for the skin. And I added the proteins, the anti-inflammatory proteins from my blood, and that fixed my skin overnight. So I was happy as I could be, and I didn't have to go to a facialist anymore. And all my patients were so obsessed with it, they asked me for more products. And because I couldn't recommend anything, I said, okay, you know what? I will do the cleanser and the serum and whatever you need. I will give you a topical hyaluronic acid. I will just do everything for your skin. So I started creating products for my patients and the rest is history. Anti-inflammation is the key to healthy skin, but also hydration. You know, we often underestimate the importance of hydration and our skin can never be dry. And because my skin was always dry, I got all these blackheads and disbalances. But what is inflammation? Let's start um, at the root cause really. Inflammation is an immune response. And it's also necessary because it fights bacteria and viruses, but inflammation in a disbalance, in a very high and chronic way can cause chronic diseases, autoimmune diseases, cancer, aging, not just um, to our skin, but also to our entire system and body. And inflammation we can keep under control by doing simple things, living an anti-inflammatory lifestyle. What does this mean? We should get enough sleep. If we can, we should sleep eight hours. So as soon as we are sleep deprived, our immune system go da goes down, our inflammation levels get up, our memory goes down. So sleep is very important. Stress, if we are super stressed, our cortisol goes up, inflammation goes up. Um, if we have an inflammatory diet, meaning fried food, processed meat, sugars, inflammation level goes up. So we really can, um, detect a lot of inflammation and we can um, regulate it. So by doing meditation, getting a good night's sleep, trying to distress, obviously stresses like sun and pollution also can cause inflammation in our system. Also the HEV light coming from the phone lights. So the skin barrier needs to be respected and strengthened. That is one of our big pillars in STERM. So anti-inflammation, hydration, nutrition, skin barrier strengthening. But hyaluronic serum is clinically proven to improve skin barrier function. So there are clinical studies which say hyaluronic serum improves skin barrier function. So that is pro our skin barrier. Do you know what telomeres are? Telomeres are the little caps of the chromosome that which each cell division gets shorter, 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 shorter until the cell mutates or dies. That's called natural programmed cell death. So these telomeres, um, there's an enzyme which is called telomerase, which keeps those telomeres from shortening. 
from shortening. And kids have a lot of telomerase. We don't when we age, yeah? So telomerase can be activated with a telomerase activator, which is in all our products. You should not only just use sun protection and you should also use AGV protection. The phone light from our phones, super aggressive, same short wavelength, aggressively targets our skin, gets quite deep and causes a lot of problems in our skin. So and what um, saves you from that damage? You know, I created the anti-pollution drops for that um, reason, because the anti-pollution drops has adaptogens, polyphenols, which block out the AGV light and the pollution because that is quite aggressive to pollution can cause, you know, pollution in the city can cause um, acne. Um, lots of people really have problems just living in a polluted area. Heal your skin, repair your skin, because our skin gets bombarded every day anyway by stressors. Yeah. So let's just infuse healing factors all day long into our skin by all the products I bring on the market, but also especially the kind of what are exosomes? Exosomes are very, very tiny particles and they're one eight hundredths of the size of a cell. So they're more like a virus of size. They travel through skin, they travel from one cell to the other and they communicate between the cells. So all of a sudden the cells have a way of communication, number one. Number two, these exosomes carry DNA, mRNA, peptides, healing support. So they do cell repair in the cells. So they're a great, great way to really um, keep your skin super healthy, repair and heal all the time. And that's really a game changer, not just for the skin. I do exosome IV drips. That is really the newest cutting edge in longevity as well. So I tell you the basics. You need a cleanser. You can use our foam cleanser, which I love. I don't have it here right now. Um, or the new you know, um, anti-aging cleansing cream. I used to have the anti-aging cleansing cream and we actually, we, we, we became quite in love with the cleansing cream because it's like also not an extra hydrator, although the cleansing foam also super hydrating, has aloe vera, urea, um, super, super nice. And um, so you cleanse your face especially every evening when you come home from the day and you live in the city. I mean, like in the city, I sometimes think, you know, I want to wash my face twice a day or, you know, like, you know, I do like a quick skincare routine in the midday. Also, I don't use makeup or anything. For me, it's like easy to wash my face quickly and do a routine, but um, at least wash your face thoroughly throughout the night with something which is um, a really good pH because the pH matter for the microbiome the pH needs to be slightly acidic. So if we would use soap to cleanse our skin, the soap would make our skin super alkaline and then it would destroy our microbiome or disturb our microbiome, yeah? Not good. So the pH matters. So pH needs to be slightly acidic, like our foam cleanser, for example, has a pH of 5.2, which is amazing. Please use um, like a cleansing product, which is in the right pH. If your tap water is rather alkaline, also use a balancing toner afterwards. You use like a little cotton pad and then use the balancing toner after and, you know, just clean out, um, not clean out, but, you know, balance your pH. It also has beta glucan to strengthen skin barrier function and it has hyaluronic acid to really um, give hydration as well. So then a serum everybody needs to use is the hyaluronic serum. So whether the hyaluronic serum or the super anti-aging serum, both amazing hydrator. So the hyaluronic serum is the hyaluronic serum and the super anti-aging serum is the hyaluronic serum plus. So hyaluronic serum which some, with some extra benefits like glutathione, for example, glutathione helps to prevent from pigmentation, but also is an extremely great, um, great uh, antioxidant. And the glutathione is, by the way, also in the super anti-aging supplement, yeah? So hyaluronic serum or super anti-aging serum. If you only use one of those serums, you're good, but use that serum, yeah? The serum is our power tool, super, super concentrated, high concentrated with targeting like deep layers. So it shoots really down into deep skin layers and takes care of like um, our skin perfectly. And then you use your face cream, whatever it is. Serums are for everybody the same, no matter if you have oily skin, dry skin, breakout skin, you choose your serums and then you choose the face cream, depending if you have oily skin, you use the face cream light or the clarifying face cream. If you have dry skin, you go for the rich or the super anti-aging one. If you have 
breakouts to the clarifying. Um, if you, you know, have um, rosacea, use the face cream light. So we have like, if you come on our website, you will have some guidance, but also we offer FaceTime consultations for everyone. They are free. You can just sign up and we can discuss your skincare routine, can go look through your skincare closet, what, what you have, why it's good, maybe what you should change. And um, so we can help with that. So we have Rita ready to dial in and ask you a question. Rita, would you like to turn on your camera? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I will. I have uh, my camera on. Did Perfect. you see me? Do you see me? <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Hi. How Hi. are you? Fine. Thank you. I'm from Germany, from Heidelberg. Oh, nice. Yes, it's very <laughs> nice. And I'm 60 years old and I love your product. Aww. I have everything. I have the advent calendar. I have the hyaluronic serum and so on. And mm -hmm. I have um, combination skin yeah. with freckles. Yes. And I want to ask you, when should I use the brightening serum in the morning or in the evening? Because I play in summer times, I'm always uh, out and about in the sun because yeah. I play golf and it's better to use them in the evening. Yeah, so what I would do, I would use it in the evening, the brightening serum after you always you can layer serums because that was also one question. Layer serums as you want. So always start with your hydrator. That's the white t-shirt of your skincare routine is the hyaluronic the white serum. T-shirt. Yes, yes. The white t-shirt <laughs> is the hyaluronic serum or the super anti-aging serum. So I would definitely use the super anti-aging serum because it has the glutathione, which blocks the tyrosinase, which is responsible for freckles and pigmentation. Yeah, so it's a good... Um, it's a good prevention tool, the super anti-aging mm -hmm. one, yeah? But it also um, is like a super antioxidant. So when you're in the sun, great, great too. So I would do the super anti-aging serum and I would do the um, the night serum at night and then I would do the brightening serum, okay. yeah? So use the brightening serum at night. What I would recommend for you for throughout the day though is the um, Better B. Do you have the Better B, the orange no. one? No, so the Beta I don't. B is amazing because it evens out your skin tone and smallers your pores and makes your skin super silky. So that also helps to even out the skin tone. And for especially pigmentation issues, that is one more product I would add to the collection, the Beta B. Okay. By Thank the way, you. guys, I, I need to say this quickly because I don't want to forget it. If you guys um, shop today on the website, I will um, gift you all my favorite hair product, the hair mask. I will gift you that just because I'm so excited everybody's here. <laughs> the hair mask is, is super. It, it, uh, the yeah, hair mask was in the advent calendar and I'm, and, and I have a very important question. Yes. When do you create a foundation? Um, you know, since I don't use foundation, that's a little bit of a tricky question, but um, I have a very interested daughter, Charlie, who is very into it and she's, um, She's maybe getting into, into it a little more. <laughs> okay. And can I ask you another question? Yes. I also have the lifting serum. Good serum. I love that serum. Yes. The lifting, the lifting serum you actually use after using the face cream. So normally all the serums come before the cream. The only difference is the lifting serum because the lifting serum creates like a biometrics on your skin and it really gives you like this shush and Lift. fills in fine lines and wrinkles it's so good but you use it after the face cream and you know who um who i like the lifting serum for the, the men it looks so freaking okay good, guys <laughs> oh my god even if they don't use it's just the lifting serum it's just it makes them so so glowy successful looking i mean it's okay on men so Try on your husband. Um, it's really, it's really a great, great serum. <laughs> okay, and the anti-aging primer I use yeah. after the lifting serum or before the lifting serum. So or, the, or, or, or that is that is oh that is a good question now because um, the primer is definitely to prime your skin, but I feel like that's becoming too much. You too know, much. Mm -hmm. the skin. So I would just um, try the foundation over um, the lifting, or you even put the lifting over the foundation you have to figure out a little bit what works the best for your skin yeah um, with the foundation it depends what foundation you're using as well yeah 
So maybe you try it out a little bit, but um, I would think you do the lifting serum first and then you put the foundation on top. Thank you so much. But do you need foundation? <laughs> yes, I need foundation. I, I, oh, you look I have the one. Oh, thank you. And I'm 60. No, you look great. <laughs> but I use the super anti-aging face cream. I use the hyaluronic serum. The super anti-aging serum. I use everything. In oh. in um in the morning I use different things than in the yeah. evening. And yeah. I love your cleanser. It doesn't hurt in the eyes. It's I love 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 your products. Oh, oh thank you. Mm -hmm. well, thank you so much for joining <laughs> today. Because get your hair mask. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Rita. So next we have Niels. Niels, do you want to just turn on your camera? There you go. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Niels. How are you? Thanks. I'm fine. Very fine. Um, thank you for answering my question. Um, Where I'm are based you? in Germany. Oh, Germany. Um, Germany, Minden. Good. <laughs> um, I'm really, really, um, as you might probably can see, I'm struggling with um, rosacea. And I know it's, um, it has a lot to do with um, stress and stress factors, but I'm really, really struggling with it. And it, it just pops up and flares up and I'm um, little pimples and I just don't know what to do at what the have, moment. Have you tried, have you tried the, our calming serum before? Yeah, the calming serum I I like very much, and it and it really really helps to to tone down the redness. Yeah. Um, but but other than that, I'm I'm really struggling because it's it's um just from from time to time it just flares up, and I there's nothing really I can do about it. You know, you know, um, the rosacea stamides are little parasites, you know, in our skin. Mm -hmm. it's but um, we can give you a medication. So if the flare up is like really, really strong and you suffer, then you just add after your skincare routine, you add a little bit of that ointment and mm -hmm. that helps, you know, at the special time when it's like um, really bad. Otherwise I would do the calming serum. I mean, we um, created this rosacea routine, like the hyaluronic serum, the calming serum, the face cream light. So don't use two oily products. Very important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, not too many. So also don't over stress your skin. Um, but if it's like very severe, um, we will prescribe you a medication. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for answering my yeah, question. <laughs> <laughs> Thank nice. you. Yeah. Bye. Nice to meet you. Perfect. Bye bye. Joel, you also had a bunch of questions people were asking because there were like over seven hundred questions. I just want to make yeah. sure. Do Shall we do those at the end and answer some okay. more questions from people? We have three more people. Next, we have uh, Heidi. We can Hello, see. Dr. Sturm. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm so excited to be here today. I'm from Guatemala, but I live in Canada. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so cool. So I live in Canada. In Victoria, in British Columbia. Nice. Nice yeah. to meet you. I've been enjoying your products and thank you so much for creating them and for having them available for us. Mm -hmm. um, I am in my menopause and I started using your products maybe a couple of months ago and I love them. Uh, but I started like not long ago having a little bit of a uh, rash just in this area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should I use that calming serum there or what do I do? I don't wear foundation after. Yeah. Instead of your products. No, your skin is glowing. I can see this. I don't see the rush because it's a little dark. Sometimes yeah. it could be perioral dermatitis, you know, in this area, especially around the mouth. That can sometimes be that you do you use a lot of products? No, I use uh, in the morning, I don't use cleanser, but I always, morning and night, I use my uh, hyaluronic serum. I Then I use the face cream, the eye cream. I yeah. use um, um, anti-pollution drops. Very good. And sometimes I use the glow, glow drops. Amazing. So what, what I would do for um, a little while is just don't use anything on this area except the hyaluronic serum. Yeah. Just leave that part of the skin out. 
yeah but you have a really beautiful routine everything everything i i love it's not too many products it's just perfect you have a glow your beautiful dewy balanced skin yeah I, so, I love I, so i would just like you know leave that part out a little bit for a few times but also you know we can um, get in touch with you so maybe when we have better light we can look at it a little bit closer um, because I'm just guessing it. it's to me it's all black so we can um, check on it um, again maybe if yeah. I move here but that's better yeah it's still a little hard to see is it on the yeah. where, where is it exactly uh, can you um, point on it yeah no it's hard to see we do another FaceTime consultation but for the time being I would leave that out yeah my team will okay. sketch you okay good and the, my last question is um I kind of lose a little bit of hair but my hair is very thin and, and greasy so what I've been doing is I try a sample of the uh, grow hair yes shampoo and the um, conditioner the shampoo yes. That conditioner creates it's static in my hair, like, and I have that problem with many things with the static yeah. in my hair. So what I started doing, like trying, is a mask instead of conditioner. So me too. I don't. You Amazing. Know what? I'm, re I'm reformulating the conditioner right now because I didn't like it at all. And the mask, I love that mask. And by the way, these shampoos and everything we do it's unheard of the ingredients in there it really helps um, against hair fold the anti-hair fold collection keep using it maybe you even switch with the balancing maybe even the balancing serum because that helps with dryness and itchiness and all of that um the mask the hair mask amazing i mean like I could not use any other product anymore because I'm so, my, my hair changed, my everything, my scalp is super healthy. It's a game changer, but you know, it's, it's, it's not something like, you know, you think, oh, this is what you need. You only know that you need it when you try it, right? Right, yeah, I'm, I'm in love. And I'm kind of little by little, buying all my products to changing everything, my whole body routine. So you're very good, products, including the, the super anti-aging supplement too. The super anti-aging supplement too, yeah. and the um, growth cycle. We have an um, hair supplement against hair fall. The growth I cycle both. supplement. I put. I do the skin. Ah, oh, you have it. Yeah, yeah, perfect. I do. Yeah, and what I'm doing is I'm taking instead of taking two, I'm taking one of each. Great. And yeah, but it's it's amazing. It's changing my my perspective on body and, and oh, thank you ever so much i love oh, it thank you it's so nice to be your skin is glowing you're beautiful thank you so much for for joining today and get your hair mask thank you <laughs> i will thank you <laughs> okay next we've got judy judy do you want to just switch on your camera uh yeah just a second another german uh, <laughs> no, I I, li I live in Germany. Uh, I'm from Munich. Ah. Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. So nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. I have like a lot of skin breakout from like a couple of months now. I have like acne prone skin. Yeah. So I really do not know how I can fix it completely and deeply. So I started uh, taking skin recovery capsules Very from a couple of days so I feel the difference but I still have a lot of breakouts here I don't know how to fix them they kind of hurt as well I don't know what if you can skin care routine now uh, I do like cleanser in the evening I have mm -hmm. your there, I think with the foam maybe yeah. I don't know if it's Very the right good. then I have hyaluron serum and light face cream so far i'm using only that one mm -hmm. because i feel i don't want to put too many products it yes. may it, it yeah yeah, yeah. so we have two options now one would be how, may i ask how old you are uh, i'm 35 yeah you look so young <laughs> so actually um adult acne is not a it's a very common thing and I created a line called Clarifying Line. I don't know if you saw that. This is yeah. a line which has still all the anti-aging benefits, but it helps to, you know, um, clear up your spots and it helps to control the sebum production. Yeah, because, you know, uh, 
creating, you know, acne is created by, a, a, you know, disbalance of sebum, but also, you know, it can cause by hormonal changes, it can be caused by pollution. So we also sometimes don't know unless you have a blood panel or it can be caused by your diet. So it was actually would be, would be quite good if you get a blood panel, if you would also incorporate the anti-pollution drops, because sometimes the pollution really causes it. And once you do that, it is a game changer. Yeah. Right. And changing the diet and going really on an anti-inflammatory, mostly plant-based, no dire, dairy, um, you know, no meat and, and keep like the fried things away and like really changing the diet into a little more anti-inflammatory. So that sometimes can also help um, with breakouts, but definitely you need a really good skincare routine. So I always recommend our cleanser twice a week, the enzyme cleanser. Yeah to um, gently exfoliate. This enzyme cleanser as a powder, you mix with water and then wash your face with it and it gently exfoliates your dead skin cells. This we actually also have a darker skin tone line and this darker skin tone line is so amazing also for acne prone skin because it's antibacterial. It has ingredients which helps to fight the probionobacterium acnes, which is responsible for acne. And it also is extra and um, anti-inflammatory. Yeah. Okay. Um, so next time you switch to the darker skin tone line. Yeah. So okay. twice a week you use the enzyme cleanser. Then you okay. have the hyaluronic serum, which is great. We also have a clarifying serum, which is a hyaluronic serum designed for acne. So maybe you switch to the clarifying serum and then you use the clarifying face cream. Okay. And okay. twice a week, the clarifying mask and you put the mask on all the areas where you have the breakouts, leave it on for 20 minutes and then you wash it off. And okay. one more product I want to recommend to you um, is the microbiotic, um, the ultimate stinky pimple cream. It's a cream. Uh, you so have, have it? Very it, good. It, yeah, it works. I have tried yeah. that. Leave but it I've... on overnight. Put it on all, all oh. over. Leave it on overnight. It's a game changer. That is a really good product. And so, um, you can use every night. If I use the stinky pimple cream, do I use the other normal cream also with it or just yeah, that? The stinky pimple cream is more like a spot treatment. So okay. you put it on the areas of, um, okay. you know, where you need it and you do your clarifying face cream first. By the way, if the um, acne doesn't go away after a couple of weeks, go to a dermatologist. Maybe you need to, you know, get some medication. You yeah. can also do a FaceTime consultation with my dermatologist in the clinic. You know, we can help to figure out what's the best yeah. way to treat it. Because, you know, if you have it for too long, then I don't want you to get scarring or anything. But you always need to have the basic skincare routine. This is one misconception with acne. Everybody who has breakouts thinks, oh, Clarisil and whatever, proactive, you know, let's scrub our faces off. Let's dry out all these pimples. Wrong. Our skin needs hydration. I explained this in the beginning. Hydration is the key to healthy skin. If you have dry skin, you will age, you will get wrinkles, you will get all problems, acne breakouts. Skin needs to always be hydrated. Very, yeah. very important. Also, if you have acne, there's no choice then hydration. So our clarifying line will take care of it. And if you need like medical ointments, this comes on top of your skincare routine. Okay. Yeah. 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 And is it okay to like, I don't know how many times a uh, acne prone person should wash the face. I know that like in the night or evening before going to sleep, I do it. Yes, but you wash, you wash in the morning and in the evening. Yeah. But you wash with a cleanser, which hydrates your skin. Okay, okay. Like foam cleanser, yeah? Okay. Okay. You can yeah. use the foam cleanser or you can you use the microbiotic cleanser. One of the two, yeah? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank Good. you for joining. Get your hair mask. <laughs> <laughs> have a nice day. You too. Okay, next we have Cesar. Maybe you want to just turn on your camera. Yes. Hi. Can you hear me? Hi. Yes, I can hear you. How are you? Hi. How are you? I'm very good. I am Caesar. I'm an esthetician. I am Hi. also Guatemalan. Nice to meet you. I'm Guatemalan, but I live in New York. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. Let me tell you, I love all your products, and I admire you, all the knowledge that you oh. have. 
I have a couple questions for you. Yes. I've been using your niacinamide and your hyaluronic acid, and they changed my life. Like my skin is so glowy. Oh, like, my skin is glowing. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it changed my, you know, my self esteem. So I love, I love oh, to say so that. Good. Thank you. I would like to ask you, um, which one would be like the simplest routine that you can recommend to someone that has oily and pro acne skin? So that's, you can choose the serums you like. For example, I would add the Beta B. The Beta B is great because it controls the sebum production, smallers your pores, and evens out your skin tone. It's a fantastic product. And Joel, who is on the call here with us, who never shows his face, he lives for that serum. Um, and it's, it's a game changer. So I would do that serum for sure. And I would do the uh, clarifying face cream. Yeah, because it's like okay. a flat version also regulates the sebum production because that's what we have to do here, you know, because of the oiliness, you, you know, you tend to break out. Also use the, um, the enzyme cleanser twice a week. Have you tried that? I haven't tried that one yet. Yeah, so enzyme cleanser twice a week, the normal cleanser and get the darker skin tone one. Yeah, get the darker skin tone okay. cleanser, the darker skin tone enzyme cleanser. And then you use your hyaluronic serum and then use the beta B and then you use the clarifying face cream. I think that should make the trick. And, you know, we can always Got adjust. It. So, um, you know, we can be in touch and, you know, make sure that you have the right. But I think that would be a really good routine for you. That's awesome to me. We're going to start working with your brand soon. So I'm excited. Yeah, yeah amazing. Yes. That is I, good I, I work, yeah, I work in Body Factory. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, so we're gonna start having your product soon. So, yeah. well, it has been a pleasure. And thank you, I'm getting my hair mask too. Yeah, get your hair mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. All right, bye. bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. Okay, last but not least, we have Shoshana. Shoshana, if you wanna put your camera on. Hi, can you see me? Not yet, but soon. <laughs> Ah, oh, there you are. Hi. Hi, Dr. Sturm. So Thank pleasure you. to meet you. So, uh, nice so meet I am, my name is Shoshana. I'm in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Oh, cool. I know that you have products in uh, G Beauty G here Beauty. and probably some other places, but I'm not Old sure. Renfrew. I, Old Renfrew and G Beauty. Oh, yeah. oh and Holt Renfrew too. Oh, that's great. Um, so, oh yeah, that's right. I actually have seen them in Holt Renfrew. Yeah. Um, so I've never used your products. But I, I wanted to, I just, I find yeah. it overwhelming just to know what to use. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have had a few health issues over the last little while, including breast cancer. So I've cleaned up all of my yeah. products yeah. because it's not a genetic thing for me. And so I started, yeah. you know, freaking out about what I've been putting on and ingesting and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm just curious. Thought, by the way. It's a very good thought because if you think about skin, it has dendritic cells right underneath the surface. And these dendritic cells communicate with our immune system. So if we bombarding our skin with all these crazy ingredients, I mentioned like retinol and glycolic and whatever, it translates into our immune system, you know? And then I think a very good rule is when products say, don't use it when you're pregnant, just yeah. stay away you know i mean that's a that, that's a really easy rule you know but um we have yeah. to really understand that skin is not just skin it's an organ it intertwines with all our other organs so and would you do some crazy things like this to your heart or your liver or your kidney you would think exactly. oh my god you know you you go you also don't get led by marketing you know there is a slogan but this is so good for your heart. No, you just go to a doctor that prescribe you something, whatever that's um, from the pharma industry. It's not led by marketing. It's led by science and, you know, whatever pharma. It's not always all that great, but, you know, it's just like, you know, there are some scientists who created that for you and not just oh, some exactly. brand, you know, for the skin skin. It could be any brand. It could be a celebrity doing skincare. You know, there's no regulation. You don't have to be a doctor, although skincare is an organ. Yeah. So let's keep it healthy. Let's keep it intact. And you're absolutely right. Look into what you put on your skin because it has an effect on us. If you think about it, when you do your hormones like testosterone, you put it on your arm or on your thighs or whatever, you know, it translates into our whole system. 
or you know in LA they do this crazy um hallucinations with frog poisoning or something they put it on your arm and you get hallucinations I mean like this is how crazy it is to put anything on your skin so let's go with ingredient science you know with really yeah. back research and so definitely you you probably want to know what is a good simple you know to start with routine exactly so i i i just turned 50 um and i am because of everything because of everything that i've gone through i had to have a hysterectomy so i'm in menopause as well oh, so yeah. i have very dry dehydrated yeah, dehydrated so skin but i also get acne and so yeah. i'd like to yeah if you could tell me yeah where I should start <laughs> oh yeah oh wow oh wow yeah 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 that is yeah that this um menopausal thing is 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 also it's a problem you know hormone you know you probably also cannot take hormones because of you know no, your history so I tell you one product you have to have it's called our night cream okay. this night cream you have to have 100 percent and I tell you why because you know, you say you have dry skin, this comes from, you know, um, losing hormones. And then what also happens, our skin care, uh, our skin barrier becomes more permeable. Yeah. So you have like little holes. And then what happens is called transepidermal water loss. So water leaves our skin that makes us extremely dry. Yeah. So I tell you about the night cream because the night cream has something called polyglutamic acid, which is four times more hydrating than hyaluronic acid but it only sits on the surface yeah it only that but that's good for us and that's what we use for the night cream because it sits on the surface and during the night our skin becomes even more permeable so we have this trans epidermal water loss so every actually everybody should have this night cream i'm obsessed with the night cream um wait i just i just because i didn't have it with me i just here i'm obsessed this is i you know what i this is what i never go without because anti-aging night cream okay yeah you have to have it so and so we prevent from trans epidermal water loss at night when it's the most important but also it fills in fine lines and wrinkles so that is a really good one and it's not you know all our products are more created around hydration so it's not like crazy rich 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 will mess up your sebum production etc cetera, etc cetera, yeah so it's not making your skin oily or anything it's just like the right lipids which you also have in your skin it's a really great product but if you talk about a full routine i would recommend to you the the anti a super anti-aging cleansing cream it's a cleanser which already hydrates your skin let's see if i have it here it looks like this. I have it only packed. Super right. anti-aging cleanser. It just launched. It's a really great product for everybody who tends to have more dry skin. That's a really amazing um, cleanser. Um, super anti-aging cleansing cream. Then please have the super anti-aging um, serum. Okay. Super anti-aging serum. And then definitely the super anti-aging um, day cream and the super anti-aging night cream. Let's keep it super simple, yeah? yeah? And also you can add the eye cream. I personally, I love the normal eye cream, but lots of people love the really rich super anti-aging one. I, 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 I want you to try the normal one. The normal eye cream is... Can I use it at night? Because my problem yeah. I find with eye cream that sometimes yeah. it gets in your eye and then you wake up goopy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nothing will happen with my products like this. I okay. swear you will you will love these products. You will love, you love the love, normal love. eye cream, right? The, I do the normal eye cream. Okay. That's my my personal favorite. So that's I think that's a good um place to that's start. Great. And once and once you um you know get used to it and you love it, I would like to um have another FaceTime consultation with you and then we can add some things, you know, and then we can look at your um, situation a little more closely. If you have breakouts once in a while, you can also get the clarifying face mask and you can do like twice a week or something, um, put it in the areas where you have the breakouts. And one more, um, one more product I love, it's a tinted spot treatment. And get the number one of the tinted spot treatment. It's tinted. So you okay. can, you put it, on the spots and you hide them you know which i think is great um great. what about body is your body dry 
Yes. <laughs> we just launched the bot. <laughs> when the I body take off my clothes, I get like sheds, yeah. layers. So what do you do dry brushing? No, but I really wanted to, like, especially because of the lymph, no had lymph node stuff. Yeah. You and you do it in the morning, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. So okay. do it twice a week, five minutes, dry brushing. And you brush from, you know, the arms upwards, you Your know, from the upwards, the legs upwards. And you do five minutes. And, you know, you can really also your butt and everything. It's so nice. Um, and it helps with cellulite, but also firms your skin, especially now when your estrogen levels are low, you need to activate your and stimulate your um, skin cells to produce collagen. Yeah. Okay. So, and then if, if you want to try the super anti-aging um, body cream and our, our body, uh, body serum and the body cream, it's a dream combination you will love. And you do the serum first and then the body cream? Yeah, always serums first and then the cream. It's with the okay. face the same and with the um with the body oh. the same. Okay. Yeah, I would use the super anti-aging supplement. Are you allowed to take supplements? Yes. Oh, I take lots of supplements. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I have a supplement it's called super anti-aging. And you know, I told you about the telomerase activator. Yes. It's super anti-aging and it's anti-inflammatory. It has astaxanthin and glutathione as um as uh, um you know, um, antioxidants, it has like hydrators, you know, like the, basically the, the building blocks for hyaluronic acid. So if you would drink hyaluronic acid, if you would drink hyaluronic acid, your body is very incapable of taking it, you know, mm -hmm. um, but if you give your body the building blocks to build it, it's like a firework. Oh, okay. So, it's that great. is a really good supplement, a super anti-aging supplement. Okay. Yeah, if you can add this to if you don't have too many already, but if you can take it, <laughs> that is can a add good. it on. <laughs> yeah, and please sign um sign in with my team now. I want to make sure that you are um, well taken care of with everything you need, and you know that we can adjust or make sure you, you get along with all the products and stuff. Thank yeah? you very much. I really appreciate it. No, it's uh, such a pleasure meeting you. And um, yeah, every- um, I look forward every, to success. trying the product. Yes, 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 success. And like, yeah, let us know what you think, okay? I will, thank you. Okay, big kiss. Bye. Bye, bye-bye. Okay, so we're running out of time, but we have a few questions that people submitted. Okay. One of the biggest questions we got is, how do you layer serums and moisturizers? You know, what comes first, what goes last? So maybe we could talk a little bit yeah, about Yeah, so as, as I just explained, but serums are the power tools of your skincare routine. So a skincare routine, a modern, innovative skincare routine needs to have serums. And you know, I have a lot of serums in my line, but these serums are, they're really targeted. They're high concentrated. These are water-soluble ingredients, which just shoot down into deep skin layers. So for example, the super anti-aging serum we talked a lot about, then we have a clarifying serum, which is um, especially for, you know, adult acne or acne prone skin. Um, then the Better B, the Better B is a milky serum, which comes later. So you always start with the clear serums and then you go to the milky ones, like the Better B, the niacinamide or the vitamin C serum or the calming serum for rosacea. So we have all kinds of serums, so you can layer. And I'll show you how to layer. What do I have here? Um, I have a hyaluronic serum here. That's the white t-shirt. You cannot live without a hyaluronic serum. It's And you just take a few drops, just a few, half a pipette or even less. And then you just put it all over your skin, also eyes. And then what I always do, neck, décolleté hands okay so then 20 seconds and then you go for the next one let me go for the better b uh, so the better b is niacinamide a few drops that makes your skin super silky it's the most amazing product by the way smaller as the pores and some people were talking about um glazed skin so glaze is something which sits on top. So I think skincare products need to become one with the skin and you want like dewy, um, hydrated, um, you know, healthy skin, which gives you a glow. I think glaze is something which sits on top. I don't know if you really want that. 
this one product I would recommend if you want a glaze kind of feeling is the um, lifting serum because the lifting serum comes on top, gives you an amazing glow, but also really lifts your skin. Yeah. Um, so the better B. Now let's do the what do I have? the calming serum or the good C. So we can use the good C. You see, I have everything in full size, but also in travel size. So um, if you are on the road a little bit or you want to take it to work, you just can use it. So that's the third serum already. Now I even could put my uh, brightening serum on, but you know, I would now um, put my face cream on. That's my face cream or the, you use the super anti-aging serum or any face cream you like. And then, so a serum doesn't replace your face cream and the face cream doesn't replace your serum. You, you really need both, yeah? You see, and then that's, that's it, and that's quickly done. Doesn't take too long. Joel? Yeah. So uh, I know you just touched on glaze skin, but there was a question about how do I get glass perfect skin? So what I tell you, I had so many problems with my skin when I was younger. And when I had my products, my problems went away overnight. That is not even a joke. Overnight, when I had my blood cream, overnight my problems were gone and if you think about you know what does your skin need it needs hydration you know you can never have dry skin never have dry skin and you need products which balance your skin your microbiome strengthen your skin barrier function your products cannot have fragrance and cannot have mineral oils cannot have a glycolic and retinol and all these things that will damage your skin your skin needs to be functioning and healthy so have a good cleanser with the right ph have a good exfoliant like the enzyme cleanser which is gentle and just takes the flaky dead skin cells off but once you have then you have your hyaluronic serum and your face cream you get small pores you get hydrated skin you have healthy skin you get your glow i mean like this is how 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 you fix your skin you don't have to have you know, all these products. And, I, you know, I have so many products, but that's just because so many people have many problems. So I want to address, if you have acne, we have something for acne. If you know, if you are a teenager and you get acne or you have teenage skin, you go for a microbiotic. If you have, if you have a baby, you have your baby products by, by Sturm. If you have um, melanin rouge skin, we have the darker skin tone. If you have rosacea, you get the calming serum. If, I mean, like I have a skincare solution for everybody and that's what I wanted, yeah? Cool. Um, I know you touched at the beginning on exosomatic line. So there yeah. was a couple of questions. What is the difference between the exosomatic line and the MC1 cream? Oh, so the MC1 cream, I basically have a base cream made in the pharmacy every day fresh. And I add the anti-inflammatory proteins made from my blood. So I stimulate the white blood cells to produce anti-inflammatory proteins and growth factors. And that's what I add into the blood cream. That's the MC1 cream. The serums, the exosomatic serums, they have exosomes in it. Exosomes are these communication tools and these repair tools we have in our skin, but all, <laughs> like everything when we age becomes less. So we get this extra healing support that um, upgrades your skin, restructures your skin. It's, it's insane. I mean, like that's really cutting edge, um, super future products. It's very, you know, Nobody has it yet, but mm -hmm. wait a second, wait a year or two, then everybody will do what we do. But um, for now, it's term exosomatic. Great. Sec next question is around retinol. What are your views on retinol? And if you do use it, like how does that go on your uh, skin routine? So I would never use it because um, retinol is causing inflammation. I'm an anti-inflammatory doctor. I would never want to cause inflammation. Um, that's the one thing. The second thing, it destructs your skin barrier, your microbiome. It takes off healthy skin cells. So that's the anti-aging approach. Attack your skin and heal. Attack your skin and heal. If you want to do it, if you want to do it, it depends what retinol you use. I mean, like, um, I would not do it. But if you do it, have an exosomatic serum and the calming serum to soothe your skin and help the healing process. Yeah. Um, I would not personally use it. And 
what else should I say about it, Joe? Yeah, no, you're right. It's really bad for your skin. Don't damage your skin barrier. Yeah. Um, we have two more questions. One is from Poppy. Uh, I'm not sure if you want to go on camera or not, but she had a question around uh, rosacea. So she suffers from rosacea on her face. And um, if there's any products that you recommend, as a lot of the other brands makes her skin feel really, really sore after. So. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. So you need hydration, but you don't need oiliness. So the best routine for rosacea prone skin is the cleanser, then use the hyaluronic serum, the calming serum and the face cream light. Yeah, that's our rosacea routine. And also for everybody with sensitive skin and redness and, um, you know, um, this dry redness and rosacea again it's their mites it's coming from parasites there is also a medication we can help for you to understand what it is but if it's really flaring up you can also use that um, uh, medication it's like an ointment then you first do your skincare line uh, your skincare routine and then you put your ointment on top cool um a few people are mentioning that they use glow drops there's a few questions around what step that that go, goes in. Like, do you use it before or after your sunscreen? Oh, you know, personally, when I use sunscreen, I don't use glow drops because I think the sunscreen gives such a glow, the sun drops. I love the sun drops. They're actually also giving you a glow. Um, but you also can mix the glow drops with the sun drops. You can mix them together. You can mix the glow drops in your face cream. I use it. I use it all the time. I use it after my face cream. I have it with me in my purse all the time. As I said, you know, I really also love these little travel sizes. I always use the glow drops. You know, it's just like you can use it with your foundation, mix it together with your foundation or top it up just on the, you know, on the cheeks as you wish. I just like my whole face to glow. So I always use it. I love the glow drops. Okay, so I think we've covered quite a lot. We went through sensitive skin, rosacea, um, super anti-aging, uh, pigmentation, melasma, and sunspots. Is there anything that you want to cover on that? There was quite a, a lot of questions around, you know, I have pigmentation, how do I look after it? I've got melasma, how do I look after it? You said it? something about under eye, under eye area. Yeah, and under eye circles and wrinkles as well. So What's really great, and I already said that I love the normal face cream, not the anti-aging one, the normal one, because it helps with puffiness, with dark circles, with wrinkles, it's cooling. It's so great, this um, eye cream underneath. Sometimes, you know, when you look into, you know, having fillers or Botox, I learned um, how to do this very, very early, like over 20 years ago. And, you know, if you have indentation underneath, especially when, you know, come in an age where you have sagginess and then you become hollow underneath, it can make sense to also add a little filler. If you have puffiness um, in the morning, don't drink too much water in the evening or throughout the night. Sit up a little bit when you sleep. I mean, like, don't go too flat. Um, um, what else with um, dark circles? Yeah, I love the brightening serum underneath because it just also helps to... Um, with the dark circles, which is great. Um, yeah. Um, I have two more questions on about layering serums. There's a lot of them coming through now. So mm -hmm. how to use the exosomatic serum with other serums? Oh, use good question. Use it before the super anti-aging or after? Um, Charlie, can't you about this exosomatic game better? So what um, I give you my personal routine because um, I, I'm obsessed with the exosomatic. So what I always do, I start my routine with the super anti-aging serum or the hyaluronic. I mean, like I mix it because I love both so much. So I sometimes in the evening, I use the super anti-aging and during the day, the hyaluronic. And then comes the exosomatic. So I always go from very light to thicker. So the mm -hmm. exosomatic is my second step. Put the exosomatic on. Then I use the beta B. I'm obsessed with the better B. So my next step and then my face cream. And that's pretty much my routine. Yeah. Um, I also use my face mask every day. I have to say, and you guys, when you follow me on my private Instagram, you probably see that you miss my face mask all the time. Yeah. Um, okay. Exosomatic. Um, and, you know, another thing about exosomatic, use it with my products. Don't try to, I mean, I said, if you use retinol, thank you, love. If you use retinol, 
then the retinol needs exosomatic too, then do whatever you want with your routine. But if you want to get the most amazing results, you use the exosomatic with the sterm routine and if you make it a super anti-aging plus routine. So super anti-aging serum, exosomatic, you can also go to the super anti-aging cream. You don't need to do the beta B, but that's what I do. And I love it. That's the exosomatic um, game changer, guys, really. And, you know, get... Get something. And there's also a lot of um, education on the website. So if you have a little time, jump on the on the website. Also, I promise you, we will do this again and again and again because they see how much um, request there is for education. And I love to do it. Um, um, yeah. I, 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 can I just add, we have on the website a lot of education. We've got our doctor's notes that Barbara writes, a lot of articles around, you know, how to use things and, and, and anti-inflammatory lifestyle advice. We've got consultations with our customer service team, our institutions, we've got seven spas. Um, also, you can get in touch with us on WhatsApp, social, email, we've got an amazing team. And Barbara is actually the one answering most of the questions on social all the time as well. So yeah. And huh. the question we have is how can we redeem the code? So um, everyone is going to be emailed with their code and then uh, the hair mask would be um, added to your cart automatically. And yeah. Uh, oh, By last the way, question. Do you have any know, what is this, uh, the body scrub launching? I want to just show you, give you a little preview. The body scrub is the most amazing product. You were, yeah, I mean, I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with it. Just um, an FYI, it's coming. Body scrub. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're coming back um, next week with Charlie. Then um, I try to get Pepper on the camera too. Um, one of the next ones. And um, yeah, we will be here for you. Just get in touch. We love you guys very much. And um, stay good to your skin. Love your skin. and. Yeah. Stay healthy. Big kiss. Bye, everybody. <laughs>